Hey everybody, got another strategy here. Hopefully they can make vocabulary a little bit more fun for you and your students uh, instead of just sitting there copying definitions called vocab word wheel. Here we go. So if you're going to do this whole class, the it's a pretty basic format. So you're going to use the wheel that you see down there and you are going to First of all, choose a set of vocabulary terms the students will play with, but then you're going to spin the wheel or your student can spin the wheel, uh, come up to the front of the class, whatever you want to do, and whatever it lands on, the student must do that action. So use it in a sentence, draw it, think of an antonym, uh, their choice, explain how it relates to course content, uh, content, act it out. So you can see there's kind of a combination of a bunch of different, different games that you may have played before, uh, but just makes it a little more fun when you make the wheel. Um, if you don't like some of those, you can always change it, uh, but those that's something that you can build off of. Now, if you wanted to turn it into more of a group work setup, which I would actually recommend this, especially if you've modeled it a whole group, because uh, you can make sure all students are involved, um, you're going to hand out, uh, so basically print out your vocabulary, make sure there's enough for everyone in your class. Each student's going to get one, uh, and they're going to go sit in groups, and they must have at least a partner, because um, you got to have at least one other person in your group. Um, teacher spins a wheel or you can get a student to do it if you want to or somehow digitize it um, but basically once it lands on something one student per group will do the action uh, so you'll kind of decide who that student is before you spin the wheel and then they will have their one term in front of them and then their fellow group members will decide based off of what they did and their term should they get a point um, now if they gets if this gets a little interesting uh, the groups can always call on you as the teacher to sort of resolve any issues, but um, hopefully it'll go pretty well. Um, and then you're going to keep repeating until all the group members have gone, so it depends on how your class ends up getting chopped up. Um, and then once everybody's gone, then you can just mix it up and play it again. So you can do it um, more than just kind of one time, and students will get new words every time or see, be exposed to other words, especially if you have smaller groups. So that was a vocab word wheel. Another engaging way to help your students learn vocabulary terms. Um, so think about what vocabulary you want to use. And we talked about a couple different setups, but you could do whole, a whole class groups or think about any other logistics when you uh, think about the execution of it. Hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.